The other day, while traveling along this fence line, I noticed that the top piping has something a little bit different. It happened to be on top of the piping, but it was larger and still black. Fortunately, I recognized that it was a rat snake. Rat snakes are part of a group of snakes called Antherophis. That means that he is non-venomous, but has constrictor-like behavior. He let me stay with him for about 30 minutes as he traveled along the fence line gracefully and eventually making his way up into the trees. It's a pretty cool video to film, so I'd like to share that with you if you have a few minutes. Plus, we'll learn a little bit of something about rat snakes and love your feedback as well. So if you're ready to get started, let's go. Meet our black snake. Notice its throat, chin, and underbelly are white, while he has shiny black scales on the back and a head that's a little bit wider than the neck and the rest of the body. I want to point out again that these are non-venomous snakes, and in fact, they'd rather have nothing at all to do with humans. I didn't want this guy to feel threatened, so I used my zoom lens to do most of the filming. This was his first unsuccessful attempt at climbing to a tree. His journey took him to the very top of a gate. I decided to close the gate in order to make the transition a little bit easier on our buddy. There we go, that'll be better. Most black snakes are between three and a half to seven feet long. We estimated that our buddy here is probably close to six feet. Okay, here comes the amazing acrobat. Without the benefit of the very top leading edges of the chain link fence, our snake had to balance himself over a slick pole. I thought it was amazing adjusting this five foot long body swaying back and forth in order to continue along the journey, all the while showing me another attempt at climbing the tree. It must not be as easy as we think. It's just bewildering how he was able to hang on. Rat snakes are actually one of the most helpful snakes to have in your yard. Their diet consists mainly of pests that you don't want near your home, like rats, mice, moles, and insects. And yes, they can even eat copperheads. We also feed and house our birds, therefore I strongly recommend if you put predator guards around your birdhouses and feeders, you won't have any conflicts with these guys. When they feel threatened, they'll release a foul smelling, musk-like odor that is considered an imitation of what poison would taste like. Okay, get ready. The moment of success is at hand. It seems like this perfect little branch was just the right bridge to hoist him up into a tree where he can stay put while he searches for the next delicious meal. We really appreciate your time today and hope you learned something. If you don't mind, please like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this in the future. Ciao for now.